Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a stored procedure and how to call a stored procedure. So, and next video tutorial, I will show you how to call a stored procedure from Java program using callable statements. So, let's go ahead and uh, first of all, I'll show you. I have open uh, MySQL for Toad, and uh, in previous video tutorial, I have shown you how to work with the MySQL Workbench. And uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use uh, Toad for MySQL. So this is another tool. Uh, you can integrate your MySQL server with uh, Toad for MySQL, and you can work uh, just like a, a MySQL Workbench right so here i have a db script already created so which i have kept in the this project calling a stored procedure using callable statement so i have written this uh, db script a huge db script which contains a lot of tables so what i'll tell you in this video tutorial i'm going to show you if you have a db script then how you can run uh, from the mysql command prompt so this db script i can copy and paste in the uh, toad editor and that i can run directly right but sometimes if your db script is too huge right size of db script is too big then if you cut and paste in this editor toad editor then this will hang so instead of instead of that you can directly run to the mysql command prompt itself so let me open mysql command prompt first of all so here is mysql command prompt let's supply the password so here i am on the mysql command prompt now i want to run this db script right so we see this is db script which is responsible to run let me show you uh, this will create the database like classic models and now this will use this database and that try to create the customer table right and after that that will insert data into the customer table and there are many more tables uh, ddl as well as dml script is content by this uh, dbs script right so what i am going to do i'm going to uh, copy this location of this dbs script and i go to the here and from here i can show you how to run this db script from mysql command prompt so we will have to write source then complete absolute path of your mysql script and end with the semicolon and press enter and you see this db script has started running and uh, if you go to the toad and here what i'll do here refresh it and after refreshing if you see in this drop down then let me refresh it again and here you can see classic model at uh, dbs script uh, sorry classic model schema is created with different tables and you can see content of these tables so there was db insert db script was there so that insert a lot of records in this table now employee table with some records offices order details tables orders tables uh, payments table product line table and product cell table right so this uh, db script actually this scheme i have created for the retail shop like uh, someone is selling the car right and uh, that requires some database tables so for that i have created this much tables and in this project uh, i have uh, ms doc document there i have written about this schema these tables basically so mysql sample database schema and this schema contains tables like customer which stores the customer's data uh, a table which is called employees it stores all employees information as well as organization structure such as who reports to whom now we have a table is called offices it stores sales office data orders tables which stores sales order 
line items for each sales order we have our table is called orders a store sales order uh, placed by the customer now we have our table is called payments a stores payments made by the customer based on their accounts we have a table is called product lines a store a list of product line categories and finally we have a table is called products a stores a list of a scale model cars so here if i can show you here we have a different tables right and description about these tables i have uh, given uh, in this ms doc so this code finally end of this demo i will store on the github and github location i will specify in the video description so this db escaped uh, this ms doc which holds the info description about the different tables in this schema and finally i have a stored procedure which i am going to run so directly this stored procedure is pretty straightforward so uh, how you usually create a stored procedure you write the create procedure procedure name and you have a input parameter so customer number is a input parameter that's why you specify in then name of the input parameter and what is the data type so it's integer so int now we have a output parameters four output parameters so as in previous video tutorial we have discussed input parameter we define using the in keyword and output parameter we define using the out keyword so out shift and int so this is shift is also input parameter type of int now again cancelled right so here how many orders have been shipped for a customer particular customer how many uh, order has been cancelled for this customer how many orders have has been resolved for this customer and how many orders have been disputed for this customer these are the output we want from the database now a store procedure begins and a store procedure finally ends over here and we have written some business logic inside this store procedure like select count uh, into shift so whatever count is coming from the database just i want to uh, copy in this variable output variable and just we want to perform select operation on the orders where customer number equals to customer number which is coming from the as a input from the client and status we want to looking for the shift right so if you go to orders table in this database orders table we have a uh, orders table so we have a status so we are looking for the status uh, is called shift right so this will uh, this will count the shift status for the particular customer number right and this table also contains the customer number so this will take the count of uh, 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 order which is having the status shift and that will copy into the shift variable right and similarly we are looking for the uh, uh, how many Azure order have been cancelled for this customer so it's pretty simple select count star into cancelled so this count we want to copy in the cancelled uh, copy into the cancelled output variable and uh, we we are just performing select operation on orders we are customer number equal to customer number which is coming from the client A status we are looking for the cancel so it's pretty simple right again we are looking for the resolve uh, how many orders have been resolved and finally how many numbers has been disputed right so we performing operation on the orders table so pretty straightforward uh, store procedure so just i'm going to copy and here uh, you have a in this classic models schema you have a tab is called procedure so let's let's click and here you can see a small p saying that create procedure if you put cursor here now click over here and see that is given you the template create procedure you can give the procedure name and input output parameter name you can specify down then your procedure starts from here and ending from here so this is the basically template but we have already created the store procedure so just i am pasting in the toad editor itself and select entire script and run it so see Yes, this is green marker saying that is executed successfully so if I so your restore procedure is now created now thing is that how to call this restore procedure right so let's open a new editor and let's call this restore procedure 
so here if my store position name is get so let's call this store procedure so we call a store procedure like call and we will have to call like this call a store procedure name and you need to specify the input parameter so input parameter i am going to specify 145 that is a uh, customer id and how many parameter have been uh, shipped right so so this output you can specify like at the rate shift something like this like a temporary variable and similarly at the right rate you will have to write cancel to store output parameter and at the rate resolved and similarly at the rate disputed how many order has been disputed and next we will have to write select select so this output parameter you want to select from the store procedure that's it and let's run this uh, either you can press the f6 and or you can click on this button execute a script so i'm pressing a, sorry sorry either you can press f5 or you can click over here execute a script so i'm pressing f5 and see output we got so for this customer number 145 uh, three uh, order have been shipped zero uh, has been cancelled one has been resolved and one was disputed so if you go to the customer uh, go to the table and you have a customer right so this is the customer id so i looked for the customer whose id is 145 so there are a lot of customers you can see and uh, i hope you understood how to run the uh, store procedure from toad or any uh, tool i mean ui tool like mysql workbench uh, or any other uh, tool like uh, any other tool like uh, you have a mysql yoga as well right so in this video tutorial we have seen how to run a store procedure mysql a store procedure uh, a mysql a script from the command prompt we have learned um, how to create and how to call a store procedure from the toad so that's all i have in this video tutorial next video tutorial will be the continuation of this video itself so there we will see uh, now we have a store procedure in the database right now how to call this a store we have learned this store procedure we can call from the tool now same store procedure how we can call from the java program itself using the call level statements so that i'm going to show you in the next video tutorial so thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial